Yo, what is good, YouTube? Maggie Dubs here, back with another video, guys. And we just had the biggest trade of the offseason, pretty much. Damian Lillard is going to Milwaukee to pair up with Giannis. And, you know, the Trailblazers are sending some pieces out. But the Suns are getting some very underrated pieces here. I already made a video about Yusuf Nurkic. I'm going to make a video for all of the guys. But this one's going to be about Keon Johnson. Them landing this young uh, combo guard guy who's very shifty, very... Uh, athletic can score around the rim but can also add some more to their team as well in terms of depth and in this video kind of want to show you what he brings to the team what he adds as well as show you some of his highlights as well so do me a favor before we jump in hit the like button subscribe if you're new join the family this is my brand new nba channel i am on my way to a thousand subscribers my main channel has sixty thousand, but i wanted a channel just for nba news like this and I'm going to be covering the NBA all year long, so join the family, don't miss out. But without any further ado, let's get into the video. So, Keon Johnson, a very young wing who is athletic, cuts very well, um, has shown signs of being able to shoot the ball, but isn't the most consistent. Now, in terms of his development, he is a guy that I've seen go from here to here to here he's getting better and better and better as time goes on throughout his first season in the nba was back in 2021 he only played in roughly about 30 games maybe a little bit more than 30 games uh but was averaging about you know six points per game or 3.5 points a game and then he got traded to the portland trailblazers where they gave him a lot of burn obviously damian Lillard was not playing i believe uh cj mccullum was still there where he just got traded um he actually came or went to Portland and did really good. Uh, averaged about 9.7 points per game, uh, shooting 83% from the free throw line, 35% from the field, which I know is not the best, and also about 35% from the three-point line. So obviously, he's shown signs of being a good three-point shooter, but needs to develop, needs to continue to grow as a player overall. But what you're getting out of Keon Johnson is a young wing who is very athletic, can put the ball on the floor, uh, can, you know, score in the paint at will, can really, he's very, um, you know, shifty, and, you know, he's just good at scoring when it comes inside the paint now like i said before he has work to do he needs to be a little bit more confident maybe a little bit um you know more aggressive at times but overall he's a hustler he's gonna want to win he's gonna want to win every single rep that he puts out on the floor and he's gonna want to make a difference now he's coming to a Suns team that has a bunch of depth and a bunch of veterans in terms of you know devin booker and bradley beal and Kevin Durant and now Yusuf Nurkic so he has guys that he can learn from which is something that will tremendously help his game overall uh, but when you talk about a high flyer who can run in transition that's Keon Johnson this guy can really fly he can really jump out the gym and he's going to make splash plays he's going to give you momentum plays um, I don't think he's going to be a starter Eric Gordon's also in Phoenix now so they have guys who are going to play Keon Johnson is a guy who can just change the momentum change the tempo and um, you know someone that they can develop as long as they're you know, trying to go all in right now, he's something to build for the future, as well as maybe use trade bait as well. So let me know what you guys think. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, join the family. Um, and with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Before we finish off this video, guys, Underdog is doing an unbelievable special right now. You guys need to get in on it. If you click the link in the description or the comment section down below, sign up. They will match your first deposit up to $500, which basically means... They'll give you a free $500 depending on how much you put in, but this is only going to be a thing for a week. So get in on it right now and they'll give you free money. They also have a 100K Sunday, uh, higher, lower. Basically, all you have to do is hit higher or lower, pair it up with something else, put it in, and you have a chance to win a 10K, up to 10K. I think they gave away 100K every Sunday, 10K to 10 different people. Guys, just go do it and potentially win money. But I'm going to do you a favor and put in a little of a or show you my slip now i'm going to do alex anzalone over six and a half tackles um the green bay packers allow so many tackles to linebackers and then i'm going to go to the other side of things and go darnell savage over six and a half tackles as well again they allow so many tackles to dbs because they're passing the ball a little bit more with david montgomery questionable maybe gonna throw it to jameer gibbs a little bit more than you think and darnell savage is a guy who come up and just make big time tackles I think this is an easy bet. Let me know what you guys think. There's so many different games you can go through. So many different, uh, you know, higher lowers that they have right now. Go check them out. And let me know what your favorite card is today or for this weekend. Maybe I'll just uh, tell you or fade you. We'll see what happens. But let's get back into the video.